Hello, hello. So, you're fired into the sim, you, everything's loaded, it's all very pretty, you're in your favourite airplane, and you're saying to yourself, right, now what do I do? Well, here's one for you. There's a website called badbadweather.com, and what it does, it'll show you all the ICAO codes, the airport codes, of where there's extreme weather happening throughout the world. It could be storms, it could be heavy rain, low visibility, mad winds, icing, snow, and the whole shebang. So let's check it out in the sim and let's see what it does. Right, so we navigate to a website called badbadweather.com. Using badbadweather.com, you can find extreme weather conditions based on METAR reports. It's aimed mainly at flight simmers who want to search for airports with extreme weather conditions to test their skills on a flight simulator or just out of curiosity. So from here, what we can do, right, you can click on any of these thumbnails. So let's go in and have a gawk at some rain. And here it's given us a whole load of information. These are all the ICAO codes. These are all the airports, right? So you can see here, for example, we've Middleton Island in the US. Uh, the wind is 36 knots, gusting 50, visibility two and a half miles. And if you look at the raw METAR all along here, well, we can see that it is raining, or A stands for rain on a METAR report. Uh, we can also have a look here at Sumbra Airport, and so on and so on. Now, let's go back and have a look at maybe thunderstorms. So click on thunderstorms, and here again is going to give you a list of airports where the METAR is reading thunderstorms. And you can click to expand on that to see other airports that have same uh, or similar conditions. So with that said, let's get in here now. We have a quick look, right? Um, let me see. So we're going to go to heavy rain, right? Yes. And let's go to uh, this one here, the Orkney Islands. So it's Echo Golf Papa Alpha, right? So here's the sim. I'm going to use uh, Flow Pro here because it's just fantastic, right? So we'll put this one in. So we're going to type in Echo Golf Papa Alpha. Kirkwall. We're going to start ourselves, zoom in here, we're going to start ourselves on the ramp, so we're just going to click go. Right. So this is going to move us to where it is. This program, by the way, Parallel 42's Flow, highly, highly recommended. If you're on the PC, I highly recommend you get the Pro version, because apart from giving you all of this stuff, it also has some nice tools for streamers as well. Uh, you know, your chat can jump on the screen, and so on and so forth. So the aircraft is just loaded in. Get some synth, Jamie Mac, yeah, it's just proper loud here, isn't it? Look at the cut of the weather. So it's extremely windy, there's rain in the area. Look at this, though. Now, let's pick somewhere else, just for gas here. So, uh, let me see, we'll open up this gadget here, and uh, we'll go to home. And let's go for snow, right? So, uh, there's one here, look. Uh, what's this? Orlando Airport. Echo November, Oscar, Lima. So we'll do the same again. So let's see. Open up Nav. We'll go to Echo November, Oscar, Lima. Uh, there we go. Orlando Airbase. And let's see. Is there any parking? Yes, there is. We go to number 17. And we're going to click on Go. This is a great way to move your aircraft around in the sim rather than going back to the main menu, waiting for things to load and so on, right? So we seem to be in the right place. Yes, yes. That's all good. And let's have a look around here. So yeah, we can definitely see there is snow here, right? Let's have an old gawk around. Looks kind of pretty. Now let's just make sure that we're on live weather. So uh, let's go into weather. We'll cycle it. Okay, well there's snow on the ground. Not exactly snowing, so... Hmm. Right, let's check out one more just for gas, right? So back in here. And let's go somewhere that has, I don't know, thunderstorms. Yes. So this one here is going to be Salgado. Sure. Uh, Sierra Bravo Hapa Alpha SBPA. Right. Let's check out this one. So I get the flow. SBPA. SBPA. That's the shot right there. Zoom it on in. And we're looking for a thunderstorm. So let's load in. And we just wait for flow to do its wonderful thing. Dragging us across the world. Way now, GSX. Thank you, Flow. And we just give everything a couple of moments just to load in. Now we can definitely see the clouds. The sound up there, a small bit. And again, because we're using real world weather, I mean, we have a whole load of scope here to go exploring. So we'll ramble on up into the clouds here with the old drone camera. 
Where would the thunderstorms be? There's a bit of a... Ooh, over there, look. Yes. So if we ramble over this way, we should be able to hear some thunder and see some lightning. Or at least that's the hope, right? Ramble in, let's see what happens. Look at the state of this, lads. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So try flying here for the crack. Do you know? So look, it's a free service. Uh, I've, I've used this website myself for a long time. Badbadweather.com. Really, really handy. Uh, if, you know, you just want to find somewhere interesting, test your skills, or just see how Microsoft Flight Sim is able to interpret and, you know, generate the weather based on meteorological reports uh, or a METAR. Do you know? Right, that's it. I'm away now to go exploring some bad, bad weather. We'll see you on the next one.